Hello, people. How are you? Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. It's good to see you again, guys. How was your weekend? Hi, teacher. How My was week weekend? My weekend was very busy because I went, I visited my my mother and then I went to the with my children. Okay, so you you visited your family. That's good. It's good to see the family. Well, my weekend was not that busy because I was sick. <laughs> I stayed home. I didn't work. I didn't for work. you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Me too. To share. Share. <laughs> and that is good, right? <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for thank you for connecting on time. Thank you for your punctuality. Um I'm gonna take the attendance right away. And I need to know if Adriana Gretel is here in class. Adriana Gretel Gonzalez. Eh, Ana Silvia Rodríguez. Good night, teacher. <laughs> so, Ana Silvia, okay. Uh, Blanca Guadalupe Benavides. Blanca Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Blanca Margarita Guevara. Hello, good evening, okay. Brian Hyperson Escobar. Okay, not yet. Sapsen. Eh, David Alonso Mejia. Present. Thank you, David. Esaú Ismael Tobar. Present, teacher. Thank you, Saúl. It's good to see you. Evelyn Janel Marroquín Ramos. Y present, teacher. Good. Francisco Villafuerte. Oh, Francisco hasn't connected yet. Glendy Elisette Flores. Present. Thank you, Glendy. Giselle Marie Hernández. She's not connected. Iris Yamilel Martínez. Iris Yamile. Um, Isaura Delia Vázquez. Present teacher. Jairo Naman Moss. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Jairo. Josué Miguel Portillo. Oh, he's not connected. Karen Elizabeth Bernal. Present teacher. <laughs> Hello, Karen. Karen Ibet Villanueva. Kenya Vanessa Corbera. Present teacher. Oh, okay. Thank you, Kenya. Leslie Victoria Mora. Present teacher. Teacher, um, sorry. Uh, can you please work on some exercise from the platform of the middle exam if that I don't understand? Please. Okay, uh, maybe at the end of the class, can maybe we can have a space for that. Mm -hmm. Is that okay for you? Okay, okay teacher. Okay. Um, Luis Ariana Guerra. Mayra Patricia Perez. Present teacher. Netlin Jaciel Flores. Ninrat Saúl Guzmán. Nubia Cristina Morales. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Renato Ramírez. Present. Ruth Beltrán. Present. Jenny Carolina Ardón Cruz. And I think Giselle Marie is here now. Present teacher. Okay, Giselle. 
Okay, people, thank you for connecting on time. Thank you for your punctuality. Uh, so in this moment, I will share with you the class presentation. <coughs> oh, Blanca, I'm sorry for you that you are sick. Uh -huh. Class number four. Remember, we are still learning about... Uh, well, today we're going to start a new topic, guys. You will see it in a moment. This is class number four. And it's Monday, May 29, 2023. I need a volunteer to read the class objective, please. Who can read the lesson, the lesson objective? Got it? <coughs> Section one, a time to remember. I don't see that. No, no, no pueden ver the lesson objective. I time to remember. Facility. No, no se mira, teacher. Bueno, yo no lo veo. No miren the lesson objective. Oh. No, teacher. Yes, I, I know what the problem is. Sorry. Give me a moment, a moment. And now? Yes, teacher. Okay. An object. Uh, by the end of the class, learn how to problem in a in a city using phrase like too many, too much, less, fewer, now, and more. You also learn about common non pronoun. No. Including mm -hmm. water, oxygen, English. Including water, oxygen, English, traffic, milk, air, water, sunshine, etc. And understand how to help if a count is count or no count. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So we have first recalling previous knowledge, then we're going to learn about adverbs of quantity, indirect questions, and wrap up. I hope I can cover all these topics today. To start here, we're, you have to tell me, <coughs> is it count or not count? We have here some nouns, and you have to tell me um, if it's, count or non-count, okay? So I will mention, I will mention the, the word and you have to tell me if it's count or non-count, okay? Newspaper? Newspaper is count. It's count. Count or non-count? Count. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Count now. Oh, sorry. I need to write here. Newspaper and newspapers, right? Uh, traffic? No count. Students? Count. 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 People? Count. count. Coffee? No, count. Non count. Exactly. All the liquids are non count. Soda? No count. No no count. count. No count. Cars? Count. Count. Flower? No, no count. count. Intelligence? No, no count. count. Technology? No, no count. count. No count. No count. Not I count. have an idea. Um, no count. Yes, I agree. Okay. count. Idea is count. Is count. Count. Literally uh -huh. sure. Okay. Not count. Not count. count. Grass. No count. Not count. No count. No count. No count. No count. No, 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 no. 
Ex exam. Exam. Count. 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 Because it can be singular and plural, right? Exam. Exams. The exams were difficult. Shoe. Down. Down. Yes, the shoes, right? Down. Oh, sorry, here. This is education. Not down. Down. Not down. Clothing. Down. Clothing in general. A piece down. Of down. Down. Don't count. No count. No. Oxygen. Oxygen. Count. Exactly. Very nice. Good. So, what is this important? Because in the next slide, we are going to study uh, which adverbs you can use with count nouns and which adverbs you can use with non count nouns. Okay. What is the difference? between count noun and non-count noun? Amor. What is the difference? I'm sorry. Guys, what is the difference? between count and non-count nouns. Que uno son contables y los, los otros no se pueden contar. Ah, okay. We cannot count the traffic. We cannot say five traffics. Teacher, I found five traffics, right? <coughs> we cannot say that. It's just traffic. A lot of traffic. But not a five or ten traffics. Now, can I count the ideas? Can I count the ideas? One idea, two ideas, three ideas, four ideas, five ideas. Can count. Yes, right? Because I, you know what? I have two ideas for this activity, okay? <coughs> Good, so that is the difference. Count, I can count, right? Three, four, five, 100. And non counts, I can't. So in the next slide, we are gonna learn about Albert. So quantity or quantity, quantity. Albert, so quantity. With count nouns, I have these examples. I can use too many, fewer, more and enough, not enough. I need one person who can read the adverbs, the sentences with count nouns, adverbs and sentences with count nouns. I need a person who can help me, Mayra Patricia. With count nouns. There are too many cars. There should be fewer cars. We need more subway lines. There aren't enough buses. Exactly. So we are using to express the quantity, a big quantity or small quantity, right? Or a neutral quantity. So we have, for example, there are too many cars in El Salvador, right? Too many cars. There should be fewer cars, or we need more subway lights. There aren't enough buses. There aren't enough. They are not sufficient. We need more buses. So these are the adverbs of quantity with count nouns. Now, with non count nouns, who can read, please? Anna Silvia, would you like to read, please, my friend? Yes. Mm -hmm. There is there is too much traffic. Mm -hmm. There should be less pollution. We need more public transportation. There is enough, enough parking. 
Exactly. Thank you, Anna. So here, instead of many, I will use much. There is much traffic. There should be less. So less is there. Instead of fewer, fewer is just for count nouns. I will use less for non-count nouns. There should be less pollution. We need more, more we can use for both. We need more public transportation and also not enough. I can use for both count or non-count nouns. There isn't enough parking in the company. There is in the company building, there isn't enough parking. I cannot drive my car to work because there isn't enough parking. We need more parking space. Okay, so let's go over the next slide. So remember, what expressions of quantity can I use with count nouns? Too many. <coughs> okay, just give me one moment. I need to look for something here. <clears throat> I can find the option to write. What is this option? Oh, we are here. Okay. <laughs> so we count downs, we use two, too many. More. Fewer. More. More. Fewer. Fewer. And yes. enough. Enough. No. 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 Not, not enough. enough. Not enough. Guys, can we make some sentences using these? Think about El Salvador <laughs> in general. Or your neighborhood. Too many volcanoes. Can you repeat, please? Too many volcanoes. Volcanoes. I, I cannot hear you. In El Salvador, there are many volcanoes. Okay. Too many will have like a negative connotation. So there are too many volcanoes? Yep. <laughs> okay, what about more? I will write this example. I need more, I need more students with the camera on. <laughs> Do you like this example? I need more students with the camera on. Okay, fewer. You were. We need, we need a few words. We need to work. We need to work fewer hours, right? We need to work fewer hours. And we should we should earn more money. Okay, not enough. What about this example? The salaries now are, what do you think about these guys? The salaries now are not enough to survive. To survive in the Salvador. <laughs> the salaries now are not enough to survive. Okay, yes, good. So you can see we are using too many, more, fewer, and not enough in sentences, and this is just for count nouns. The count noun here is? Too many. 
Volcanoes. Volcanoes. Here is student. 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 Hours. 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 Here. What is the noun? Salary. 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 Salaries. Yeah. Remember, count nouns can be plural or singular. That is the characteristic of a, or a count noun. It can be singular or it can be plural. Good. Can I go over the next slide? Oh, I, I have uh, many examples here. There are too many pupuserias in El Salvador. <laughs> Thank you, Margarita. Renato, there are too many accident cars, car accidents. There are too many car accidents. It's true. There are too many beautiful rivers, beautiful rivers. Remember, too many has a negative connotation. There are too many Ah, okay, yes, I will. In this case, yes, I will. water is non count. We will use much because water is non count. <clears throat> and then there are too many motorcycles. That is true. A lot of too many motorcycles. Great examples, people. You are so smart. Now, let's see. With non count nouns, remember the expressions of quantity that we can use with non count nouns? We use too much. Too much. Too much. Less. 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 More. 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 And not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Now let's make the sentences. Remember, too much is, has a negative negative connotation. It's like demasiado, too much, but it's negative. I mean, it's like not good because it's too much. There is too much in child. There is too much. Or teenagers. Ah, okay. But that is count nouns because you can count the teenagers or children. Mm -hmm. children. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, but with non count nouns. Remember liquids. Um, abstract things, feelings are non count nouns. There is too much traffic. There's too much traffic on lower decks, right? Every day. There is too much traffic in lower decks every day. I have another example, guys. I think you are drinking too much, okay? I think you're drinking too much. Water. <laughs> and now with less. Oh, the opposite, right? You should drink less coffee. Cola. Okay, less coffee. Beer. <laughs> you drink too much coffee. I think you're drinking coffee too much, or you are drinking too much coffee. Okay, more? We need to do more exercise. Okay, that's true, I need it. 
We need more exercise. Okay, okay not enough? Samples. Not enough? My free time is not enough. <laughs> okay. To do everything I need to do. Okay, in the chat, we have some, for example, there is too much potable water. But that is good as well because that is water for everyone. <laughs> Uh, there is not too much flour for this recipe, okay? Good, Margarita. Mm -hmm. More examples. We should have more, more time for the English class. Don't you think so? <laughs> Yes, right. Okay, so these are with non count nouns. What is the non count noun here? Mm -hmm. Traffic. 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 Coffee. 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 Exercise. Time. And time. time. Yes, I have more examples in the chat. The weather is less hot today. Okay, Luisa. Blanca, I have less money every day. <laughs> it's true, right? It's like money in our hands is like water. <laughs> okay. The money is not enough. The money we earn. The money we earn. Que ganamos, we earn, it's not enough, right? We need more money. Okay, Francisco, that is with cow nouns. There aren't enough trees. Ruth, there is too much examples to study. Okay, Ruth, that examples is plural, so we're gonna use with cow nouns. There are too many examples to study. It's too much for you. Okay, there are too many examples to study. Remember, many with count nouns, much with non count nouns. Okay, that is the only thing you need to remember. Okay, and this is there is an there are many exercises in the platform with this topic. So I hope that it will help you to, to complete those ones, okay? Now, uh, let's see. We are gonna go over the next topic. The next topic is, ah, the practice. I almost forget the exercises. Okay, complete the statements about transportation problems. More than one answer may be possible. So here, what can you tell me number one? There are too many police officers. There are so many. All right, number two? There should be fewer cars more, in the city. More. more cars or fewer cars? More cars. More cars because there's only one, right? <laughs> that is transportation is non count. More. More. Uh, okay. That is more public transportation, okay? The government needs to build. <coughs> <coughs> More, more, highways. More, 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 more,
more would you have more public parking garages there is many a pollution in the city too much too much too much, too much air pollution when you go to downtown san salvador the air is very pollution okay, number a there are cars park many less so many too many there are too many there are too many cars parked on the streets Good, and here we have write sentences about the city or town you are living in and then compare with others. Well, guys, I think it's going to be your homework because of the time I want to cover the other topic. So I will send you this so that you can complete and in your notebook, you can complete with your, in your notebook, this exercise. Is that okay? Write sentences about the city or town you're living in, then compare with others. So guys, it's gonna be your homework. You will complete. The city should provide more uh -huh. Think about it. Oh, the city should provide more, I don't know, maybe service, some services. You can think about some services. We have too many, as Margarita said, we have too many pupuserias. <laughs> There's too much, there isn't enough. I think the city should provide more health services. Hospital. There should be fewer. We don't have enough. There should be less, and we need more. Okay. This is that. I will wait. I will wait for your sentences, your examples. Now, guys, let's go over the next topic. The next topic is indirect. Indirect questions or indirect, indirect questions from WH questions. Okay, these are direct questions. Direct, direct. Where is the bank? Where are the restrooms? Or we do or did. How often do the buses leave? What time does the bank, does the bank open? When did fly 566 arrive? These are direct questions, direct. But sometimes we need to make indirect questions, for example. And for indirect questions, we use these expressions. We use expressions, could you tell me? Do you know? Can you tell me? Do you know? And we make the same question, but the verb will be at the end in the case of the verb to be. Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the restrooms are okay when do we make indirect questions when we want to be more polite more educated more polite so excuse me could you tell me where the bank is excuse me do you know where the restrooms are this is with the verb be with other verbs we have can you tell me how often the buses leave? So the verb is at the end. Do you know what time the bank opens? So we don't use the auxiliary verbs, do or does, but we conjugate the verb. 
Do you know when fly 566 arrived? Because it's in the past. Can you tell me how often the buses leave? Do you know what time the bus opens? Do you know when fly 566 arrived? Okay. <coughs> Can we make another example? I have a question for you. Do you know when this course ends? Do you know when this uh, course ends? I don't know. You don't know? In three weeks. Three weeks. <laughs> three weeks. <laughs> In three weeks. Okay. Can you tell me when? The games, yeah. when the games start, the Olympic games or the sport games that we're going to have in El Salvador, can you tell me when the games start? Next month. Next month. Okay. Another one. Oh, we could. Could you tell me what time it is? Could you tell me what time it is? 9.38 p.m. It's 9.38. So if you notice, I'm not saying, could you tell me what time is it? No, it's what time it is. We change the position because it's indirect questions, indirect questions, okay? But teacher, you can to say what time is what time is it, or what time it is. The direct question: What time is it, Ruth? It's direct, but indirect. Can, could you tell me what time it is? Uh -huh. It's correct to say it as. Yes. Ah, okay, Saul. Sería, can you tell me when your birthday is? Do you know um, a restaurant near here? Uh, notice here. The bird to be goes at the end. So, so can you tell me when, can you tell me, 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 when your birthday is? That's correct. Evelyn Janet, Seria, do you know where a restaurant is? Do you know where a restaurant is? You will see more examples in the next slide. But you can make your own examples in the chat. Can you tell me if he is Spanish? Okay, Nubia, that's correct. But because we are using the conditional if. Okay, we have here some WH questions and underread questions with to be. I need six volunteers to read direct and the underread questions. Uh, volunteer number one, Jenny Carolina. <coughs> Where is the nearest? Nearest, aquí es la pronunciación. Nearest, yes. Nearest restaurant. The undirect question. Jenny. Could you tell me where the nearest restaurant is? Thank you. Number two, Nubia Morales. Why? Is the restaurant closed? Closed. Closed. Why? In the resta restaurant 
closed. Can you tell me why the restaurant is closed? Mm -hmm. Three, number three, Mayra. Mayra? <coughs> when is Carlos coming? Do you know when Carlos is coming? Mm -hmm. Okay, in this case, because we are we have the present progressive, right? When is Carlos coming? So we make like a sentence. Do you know when Carlos is coming? Number four, Leslie. What is the problem? Could you tell me what is could you tell me what the problem is? Yes. Could you tell me what the problem is? Five. Ruth. Are this how are the six students? And can you tell me how sick a student are? Yes, number six. Uh, number six. Who are those people? Do you know who those people are? Yes. Okay, nice, right? I like these questions. <laughs> right. <laughs> Very good. Let's practice. Write indirect questions using these WH questions and then compare with a partner. So this, we are going to do it in the class. Okay, so can you, let's do it. We can do it together if you want. You can write your examples in the chat or you can open your microphone and tell me. And Ruth, do you have a question? No. Ah, okay. no, for this moment, no. <laughs> you have your hand raised. Okay, you know, <coughs> excuse me. Number one, how much does a newspaper cost? Uh, the indirect question, do you know how much a newspaper costs? That's number one. Number two, what is the neatest cash machine? Uh -huh. Please tell me what is the nearest cash machine? Can you tell me where is the nearest cash uh -huh. machine? Where the nearest cash machine? Y luego que falta? What is missing? Is. Is. Can you tell me where the nearest cash machine is? Right, the ATM. Number two, number three, sorry. Number three, what time do the banks open? No. Tell me. Do you know? Do you know? What time do the bank open? What time? What time? What time do the banks open is? Uh, we don't use the auxiliaries. It's just, do you know what time the banks open? Do you know what time the banks open? How often do the buses come? How often do the buses come? Do you know? The buses come. Is how the buses come. Do you know the buses come? How often? Do you? Lo único que vamos a eliminar. The only thing we're going to eliminate is the auxiliary. Right? The auxiliary do for that. Do you know how often the buses come? <coughs> okay, number five. Can you tell me where can you? Mm -hmm. uh, get me? Could you tell me, and then the WH question, could you tell me where the WH? Uh -huh. 
Where can? Where the subject you, where you. I get a good meal. Could you tell me where you can get a good medal? Could you tell me where you can? We change, right? We change. Could you tell me where it, you it, can it's get? Meal. It's meal, not middle. It's meal, not middle. Oh, a good meal. <gasps> you know, I'm sleepy already. <laughs> I'm asleep already. Thank you. Yeah, I was like, a good meal. Sorry, thank you. Where you can get a good meal? Yes, six. <clears throat> Number six. Do you know how late the night clubs stay open? Uh, seven. Do you know how early uh, the range room? The trains room. Yeah. And number eight. <coughs> it is not enough. It is not enough. Excuse me, Leslie. Can you tell Sorry, me teacher. the best hotel in the area? Can you tell me the best hotel in the area? What? What? Porque tenemos el what? What the best hotel in the area? In the area? In is 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 exactly can you tell me what the best hotel in the area is mm -hmm. yes easy or difficult confused Confused. Yeah, confused. A little bit confusing. A little confused. A little, a little. Just a little. Practice, practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. Right. perfect. That's true. <laughs> okay, we're going to practice a little bit more. We still have some minutes to practice. Maybe with other examples. Can I erase these ones? Can I erase these examples? Yes. Okay. <coughs> okay, I will write one direct question here. This is a normal question, right? When do you have your English class? Now, to, uh, to be more polite, I want to make an underread question, indirect question. So I will use a polite expression. Can you tell me, and here I am only going to eliminate here do, okay? And because, um, and I will, okay, look, look at this. Can you tell me, uh-huh, I will use when, when, when exactly, you w, have English word. W, w word plus the subject plus 
the verb. Okay, so it will be like this. Can you tell me when, when, uh -huh, when you your English class, English class, English class is? Ah, oh, when you, you, right? Because it's the when you English when you have, you have uh, your, your English class. In this case, we need complement, right? We have complement. Can you tell me when you have your English class? Okay. <laughs> Can you tell me when you have your English class? So right here, I put the question word, but the rest, this rest is like a normal sentence, right? Let's make another example. The question is, why are you learning English? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me? Can you tell me why? Why? Why are, why are you, you? Why you? Why you learning English? Are learning? Mm -hmm. you are learning English? Exactly. Could you tell me why you are learning English? Do you remember the song of the Backstreet Boys? Tell me why. I That's a that Do you remember the song? <laughs> yes. Tell me why. Yes, it's a yes, very yes, good yes, song. <laughs> Okay, so it's similar. Tell me why ain't nothing but a holiday. Tell me why. I never want to hear you say. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Another example? One more example? Hmm. How, how often do you uh, drink coffee? Imagine you are at the doctor. Oh, doctor, I feel so bad. Okay, the doctor asks you, can you tell me? How, how often do you drink Coffee. Can you tell me how often you drink coffee? Oh, yes, I drink coffee uh, twice a day. Five times a day. <laughs> oh, that's why, <nice>, right? <laughs> One more question, but with the bird to be. <clears throat> I don't know, let's see. Uh, when is the exam? When is the final exam? Ah, hey, it's Aura. Do you know? When the final exam? When the final exam is? Exactly, there you go, guys. That's it. That's it. Yeah. You got it. Excellent. Got it. Yeah, you got it. Sometimes the, the examples in the book may make us confused, but you got it, guys. And I'm happy for that. 
Then, uh, there was one person who was telling me about the platform. I don't remember who the person was. I don't remember who the person was. Could you tell me who the person was? I'm using indirect questions. Who asked about the platform? Can you tell, uh, can you tell me what, what, what is your question? Oh, what your question is? What your question is? Of course, uh, my question is, if you can tell me who asked about the platform, the exercises in the platform. Who asked about the platform exercises? You don't remember? Bueno, alguien preguntó sobre el platform. Somebody asked about some exercises in the platform. Eh, How, how is your group? Do you have a question? No, it's uh, only two days. Okay. okay, some people got into the class a little bit late. So, Brian Hyperson. Are you in the class, Brian? Brian Hyperson? Yes. Okay, uh, it is Janet Martinez. No? Josue Miguel Portillo? Karen Iber Villanueva? Here, teacher. Ah, okay, Karen. Um, Luisa Ariana Guerra? Present. Nerlin Jaciel Flores? Ninrab Saúl Guzmán, Nubia Cristina Morales, present, ok, Jenny Carolina Ardonco, present teacher, you were late, yes, okay. nobody else, just that, So, questions about the platform? No questions? Everything is okay? No, teacher. Francisco. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Ah, the... What, the, the attendance? Yes. Oh, yeah, you got it here, I put it here. I thought you had a question. No. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, can you tell me um, what did you learn today in this class? You can use this expression. Direct, direct and indirect question. Okay, Haida. Yes. It, to make indirect questions. How to make indirect questions. Can you give I learned about the... Uh, Noun counts are and no non count nouns. Very nice. Thank you, Margarita. Count, count nouns and non count nouns, the difference, right? Okay, Ruth. Uh, today I learned it about the um, two three questions in your coordination the question. Only to practice. Indirect <laughs> practice. Questions. Indirect questions. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. And what do you remember about the adverbs of quantity? What are the adverbs of quantity? For count nouns?
for countless so many more not enough and fewer fewer yes there you go jenny thank you and for ca and non countless Yes, more, too much, and not enough. Too much, not enough, less, and more. Okay, which activity did you like? Which activity did you like? How to make indirect questions. Making indirect questions. Okay, what do you need to practice more? Practice the indirect question, teacher. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, people, that was it for today. Thank you for connecting on time to the class. Don't forget the homework. What is the homework? And complete the sentence. Yeah, to complete the sentence about the city or town you are living in with. Well, you will just complete, right? You already have the adverbs of quantity there. You just need to complete with count or non-count nouns, depending on the on the adverb. And that's it. That was all for today, guys. I hope you have a great evening, and I hope to see you tomorrow. At thank you, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good night. See you. Good night. 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 Good night.